Good morning. I am all the elder, hashtag old not sage. Um, this is just going to be a short video to say this. Uh, yesterday, somebody attempted to assassinate Donald Trump, former president of the United States. I don't agree with Trump's policies. I don't agree with what he says. Probably don't agree with what he thinks. I don't know. I have no clue what the man thinks. I can tell you this. Violence is never the answer. Love. Love's the answer. I worship a God of love. I don't worship a God that inspires people to go out and kill other people. For any reason. God gets to take lives. No one else. <sighs> yeah. That's the message. It's love. You don't have to agree with your political leaders. And some of us live in countries where we can affect change, and some of us live in countries where we can't. And I'm not sure what else to say other than I've lived through too many presidential assassination attempts in my life to not get up here and say, stop it. We all need to pray. We all need to pray that God steps into the people who think these things lives. And strains them out, shows them the love and the beauty and the wonderfulness that exists and the fact that if we have faith and trust in God, he's going to lead us where we need to go. Assassinating your leader or potential leader or possible leader, that is definitely not a sign of faith in God. I believe that whether Trump, Biden, or long shot RFK Jr. wins this election, it's because God intended them to, because none of them are more powerful than the God I worship. And the God I worship is in charge of everything. He gives us the free will to reject it, but he's still in charge. They're still in charge. Look at you know, have it. Anyway, um, stop it. I want everybody to get together and I want you to pray and I want you to pray for the people at the rally that were at this point. I don't know if anybody was uh, seriously wounded or uh, possible life was taken. I do know that they're reporting the last report I saw. They're reporting that uh, the, the shooter is dead and I think we need to pray for the shooter too. Obviously, the, this was a, what I consider a lost soul. This is somebody who had given up faith in God's love and decided to take matters into their own hand and do what they thought was right. They were wrong. They're deadly wrong. But they still need to be prayed for. They still had a soul. Just like Donald Trump, Joe Biden, and RFK Jr. all need to be prayed for, one of them is going to be leading a, a very powerful country, a great country if it saw its potential, but this is a great world if it saw its potential. The U.S. is no different than any other country. It's filled with people who have souls and a culture and a society and beliefs and things that they hold dear. We don't have to agree with them, but we got to respect them. got to respect other people for their beliefs, man. If you think they're wrong, talk to them. Don't shoot at them. Talk to them. Use logic use intelligence god gave that for you for this purpose so that we could all get along and love each other i was accused of being a commie pos this week and i didn't say it but the fact of the matter is to said i'm just a dirty hippie okay i was born two years before the summer of love <laughs> man i wish i had been older but i also acknowledge that god has blessed me with living in the greatest age so far the age of the internet every bit of knowledge that humans have accumulated is right at your fingertips every bit of misinformation that humanity has come up with is right at, right at your fingertips you got to do the research my friends you got to get out there and find out what's real and i don't believe anybody watching this video or following this channel has the kind of pain and hatred and disgust in their hearts that they're going to go out and try to shoot somebody. But if you are, turn to God, my friend. That's not what God wants. Okay? I 
can't speak for God, but I can tell you I don't believe for a minute the God I believe in, the God I follow, does not want anyone to go out and kill someone else. They want you to go out and hug them. They want you to go out and tell everybody out there you're loved. God loves you. I love you. And we can change. We can become what God intended us to be. I love you, friends. Let's bow our head in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we prayed for the people that were wounded during the assassination attempt yesterday. We pray for all the people, all those souls out there that are wounded, murdered by confused, angry, misled people. The problems, the tool, the problems, the weapons, but the big problem is what's inside the heart. If your heart's straight, Lord, I know. I know if your heart's straight, you'd never pick up a weapon against somebody else. You'd never choose violence. Make us more Christ-like every day, Lord. Bring peace to this earth. Bring love and compassion to the hearts of men and women everywhere. The path leads from knowledge to enlightenment, faith to wisdom. In Jesus' most holy and sacred name I pray. Amen. My friends, go out and do good. That's all we can do. Go out and do good.